Hey, welcome. This is Peter Buswell for Dr. VOIP with another free online video tech tip. In this section, we're going to continue our discussion about the Shortel Contact Center and the Enterprise Contact Center options. And today we're going to talk about three options for callback. Abandon call, callback scripts, and dial lists. Three very exciting features to get the Shortel Contact Center to call back customers automatically. So let's take a look at these options one at a time. Okay, so there are three options for calling back or having the contact center call a client and then have that call transferred to an available agent. Now, in the first clip, in the previous clip, we discussed the abandoned call option. Uh, in a future clip, we'll talk about dial lists. But in this particular video clip, we're going to discuss the callback script. So that will be the second option in our uh, creation of scenarios to call clients back out of the Shortel Contact Center. So once again, uh, I'm going to summarize the steps and then we'll take a look at uh, configuring an actual script. So what you're going to need to do is uh, create the needed prompts. I start every video clip by reminding you that it's absolutely essential that you think about the content of your audio uh, scripts before you attempt to create scripts. It's so frustrating to create a script and it wants you to insert the WAV file and you don't have it and you end up sticking in some dummy sample uh, WAV file and it makes testing very difficult because you can't really tell if you're getting the correct prompt. So please take the time. First thing you should do, plan out your script and then record your prompts. Then you're going to create the actual callback script, um, you know, which will include setting up a destination, the time, the ending, uh, and uh, hanging up a process for that script. You'll configure a group. You'll configure the service and enable the service to authorize um, uh, agents to handle callbacks. And then, of course, we need to configure the outbound uh, parameters at the system level. So let's take a look at uh, each one of these uh, configuration steps as we create a callback script. Okay, so we're going to log into our Shortel Enterprise Contact Center. This happens to be Enterprise Contact Center version 5, but uh, it looks uh, pretty much like uh, the uh, version 4. There's some differences that I've already covered in previous clips, but uh, we're going to go here to entities and uh, obviously uh, a, a first step will be to configure the system level um, parameters that will enable the contact center to dial an outbound call. So you'll go into systems, you will find these uh, tabs and we're looking for the one that says outbound. Clicking on outbound, uh, general configuration requirement is that we give the system a home area code, that we put in uh, dial 9 if required. Of course, if this is a short tail integration, dial 9 through the PVX is essential. Um, callback. Here is where we're going to set the default callback service. And uh, we can select here a default uh, callback for a default group uh, to receive um, the telephone call once it's been placed by the system. Uh, it's actually a service, not a group. Uh, the number of times we will attempt to um, make that uh, callback and 
various system-wide timers for reserving an agent. I'm going to step this one up just a little bit for demo purposes. Um, when, when the system places a call, uh, before it places a call, it's going to re, you know, reserve an agent. So the agent will get a little pop-up window on their call manager or toolbar that says hey, you're being reserved for a call and the agent can uh, elect not to accept that, in which case he'll be put into the release mode and the system will move on to the next agent. You know, we don't want to have a situation where, where we're calling somebody back and then we throw them in a queue and they listen to hold music. That, that's not real cool, especially since it's callback. Uh, how many um, retries for busy and no answer? The call center can in fact determine busy it can determine answer. Mm -mm. It's not real good. Um, it can, excuse me, it can uh, determine no answer. It's not real good at positive answer supervision. So uh, I like to transfer uh, to the agent on ring. So as soon as the system detects ringing, it will send it to the agent. And this way the agent can actually perform the function of positive answer supervision. Uh, if you uh, click connect, uh, there might be an issue there, um, and I would recommend transferring the call uh, on ringing. This way the agent, uh, his ear uh, can hear, if I got an answering machine, I got a fax machine, whatever, uh, he'll be providing the function of positive uh, answer supervision. We also have the ability to select the time uh, zone and daylight um, uh, savings options for the system as well as to uh, create a do not call list. These uh, features have to do with all of the outbound calls. So this would be abandoned call, it would be dial list. In this situation we're talking specifically about callbacks. So let's uh, wrap up on the subject of short tail contact center callback script configuration, the second of three options that we're talking about in ECC callback options. We've uh, looked at creating the needed prompts, can't emphasize how important it is just to get those prompts done. I've showed you how to create the callback script, including setting up the destination, the time, uh, and and confirming that you're going to meet your callback obligation. I've showed you where in the groups you need to enable the callback. Uh, I've showed you how to configure the service to enable it um, to be authorized to handle callbacks. And we also looked, uh, once again, at configuring the outbound parameters. I've showed you a demo of testing how uh, the integrated tool uh, the integrated toolbar would handle this. So that um, about wraps it up for uh, this version of uh, Shortel ECC Advanced Configurations. Uh, another tech tip from uh, yours truly at drvoip.com. Look forward to seeing you on a future clip.